Parents spend more time on their phones than adults without children. Is your use of a smartphone leaving your little one feeling ignored? Do your children spend too much time watching screens? And what is a suitable amount for a healthy family environment? Stay tuned to find out how living in a world of digital distraction is impacting our children. Let's delve in to the new age of distractive parenting and uncover how this affects our children and what we're teaching them. 30 years ago, we didn't have the distractions that infiltrate every moment of our lives today. We couldn't be on the phone while helping a child to the loo or while in a shop trying to pay for something and watch the children at the same time. We didn't have email, social media, news, and just the technology of being reached on the phone anytime, anywhere. When you were a child, I'm sure your parents had their own versions of distraction. There was still television and regular landline phones. Stopping to chat with someone or even just distracted with things on the mind have been affecting us all for generations. But since mobile technology and more specifically smartphones came along, the increase in distraction is crazy. Have you ever been on a date night or dinner with a friend and they go to the bathroom and your immediate reaction while sitting there alone is to reach for your phone? Oh, we've all done it. Why? Why do we need to consume all the time? All that information consumption, whether it's news, education or gossip, is putting more into your head, more to worry about, more micro-stressors you might not even realise. Did you know we check our phones on average every 12 minutes? Do you keep your phone in your bedroom at night? Let me know in the comments below. This means our children are having to compete that much harder for our attention. I'm just doing the grocery shopping or sending one quick email. I hear myself say things like that all the time. 78% of UK adults own a smartphone and parents are reported to spend more time on their phones than adults who don't have children. I mean, maybe we're Googling things like, how do I get my baby to sleep better? Or every other parent baby question out there. But when our children have to compete with all the noise to get our focused attention, it can affect their behavior as well as their emotional well-being. Research shows healthy development in young children is enhanced by the reliable presence of at least one supportive relationship. But being physically present and fully present are very different. Personally, I'm a huge fan of technology and the opportunities that it brings us today. Our children need to learn how to use it to enhance their lives and we're not yet qualified to teach them how because we're the guinea pig generation. The first round of parents who are experiencing this advancement alongside parenting. We role model and pass the distracted living onto our children too. They see what we do and if there's always a device in your hand, a screen in your face, they think that's what they need to do. When we're at a restaurant and we want some quiet conversation, who else has handed their little ones a screened device to intentionally distract them? Right there, we're teaching them to get distracted. Then we get upset when they're not listening to us because they're so engrossed in their screens. The stress levels that all this brings upon us is terrible as well. We release more stress-related hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline because we feel overwhelmed guilty and like we have too many open running apps in our heads. I recall not long ago I was at the hairdressers with my eldest getting a trim and both he and his sister were on tablets to keep them occupied. My mum calls me about some concerns regarding my very elderly grandmother so it was important enough for me to take the call. My daughter then needs to use the bathroom so I take her and I quite literally multitasked cleaning a child's bottom with the phone between my shoulder and my ear. My daughter was so well behaved, but I thought to myself, what am I doing? This is crazy. I want to be engaging with my children in every interaction, even if that is going to the toilet. In fact, this story is what inspired me to share all of this. Distraction takes us over. Linda Stone, former consultant at Apple and Microsoft, <laughs> describes it as continuous partial attention or CPA. She says that the constant state of alertness means that we scan the world and never really give our full attention to anything. 
this always on behavior is harmful to our mental health and constant distractions can have the same effect as losing a night's sleep. I don't judge anyone. When a child is playing in the park and calling for mum to watch but she's too busy on her phone to realize, I don't judge her. I don't know what she's juggling and trying to cope with right now and perhaps the visit to the park was the best way to get a few moments to do what she needed to do after she'd been fully engaging her child for hours at home. We don't know other people's stories, reasons or what they're going through so it's unfair to judge. I self-observe and regularly course correct if I know I'm not in alignment with parenting the way I want to and that's all any of us can do, our best. I love this quote, so I'm going to leave you with it for you to think about in your day-to-day -day activities. Wherever you are, be all there. If this has been insightful, please write in the comments below what you liked best. And if you know someone who would benefit from watching, please do share this video with them. I've made a really easy, cool printable for you too. So hit the link below and get the download now. And until next time, sleep soundly, live with vibrance and make your impact today.